Yo guys, what's up? It's Alex from Jinji Studio. Today we will show you how to localize your game using a first party package from Unity. This is great and will make more people enjoy your game. Now let's start. First we have to open Unity and open the package manager. You can find it under window. Now we want to click the plus button and add from git URL and we will write com.unity.localization. In this video we will show you the string localization, but you can localize images and sounds as well. Let us know in the comments if you are interested. The documentation from Unity is actually pretty good. I will link it for you in the description. There's a quick start guide you can look through. But now let's start with the string localization. Now we have to go back to Unity and open the project settings. Now we have to go to the localization and create one. And now after we have created the localization, we have to run the local generator. So we have to click on local generator and we will just use German and English because we are Deutsch and our videos are in English. And now we will generate those. I just put it in the root asset folder, but you can obviously make a localization folder which is probably the better idea. Now it created two. You can see English EN and German DE. Now we have to choose our default language and the default language is English. And the same for a project local identifier. In this video we will show you the string localization. If you are interested on how to localize images or sounds, let us know in the comments. We can show you, it's actually pretty easy. And if you are interested in more awesome Unity tutorials, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's free and it helps us to stay motivated, so we can deliver more awesome free content. But now let's continue. Now let's click on Window and on Asset Management and we will click on Localization Tables. Now we want to create a new table. We will just name it new table. And we will just put it in the root asset folder, but you can create one folder for the localization. It's actually a better idea, I think. Now you can see a key and both our languages, English and German. And let's add a new entry. We will add an entry for start game. Now let's choose as key start game. And on English we will say start game. And on German it's Spiel starten. Now let's add a new entry. This time we will use the smart string feature. So let's choose a key, let's say player name. And the text in English will be my name is and it will display the variable and the variable is player name. And the same thing for German, but we say my name is player name. And we have to enable the smart string feature. I've prepared a small UI to show you the string localization. If you're interested in how to build scaling UIs for mobile devices, watch our other video. I will link it for you in the description. But now let's add a text. You can find it under UI. I will adjust the width, the height and the font size so we can actually see it. Now we can add a text mesh pro as well because the string localization works on both. This is actually pretty cool. Now let's go back to our normal text so we can start here. We will go to add component and we will add a localize string event. Now we have to choose the string we want to use. You can see our table we created and our both strings. We will use the start game string. Now we want to scroll down and on the update string 
we have to drag our text in there and we want to update the text of the text. So just select text from text and now let's go to TextMesh Pro. And on TextMesh Pro we have to do basically the same things. We have to add a component, localize string event and choose a string we want to use. This time we will use player name and because player name is a smart string we have to add a variable. We'll just choose string and player name takes player name as variable so we add player name. And you can take the string from basically wherever you want. You can choose it from a script or however you want. And now we have to drag the object into the object and on update string we want to update the text mesh pro text. So we will just choose this. And now we want to test it. Just run it. And now you can see it says start game and my name is Alex. And if you click on control panel, you can change the localization. Let's change it to German. Spiel starten. My name is Alex. Guys, this is it. This was a pretty basic tutorial. If you are interested in more localization tutorials, let us know in the comments. As I said, you can localize the strings, the images, the sounds, and this is actually pretty useful. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments and we will try to answer them. Thank you for watching. I hope the video was helpful. Like the video if you liked the video, dislike the video if you disliked the video, subscribe if you want to be notified on our future content. We are also on Instagram and Facebook. Feel free to follow us there as well. And have a great day. Start creating, stop consuming.